Anyone here like the survival game genre? How can you not, right? So you like survival games too, don't you? If yes, then you might just enjoy a new manga lately called Diate 5 BOD Battle, or translated as Battle in 5 Seconds After Meeting by Haruate Saizo. I read 18 chapters so far and I've been having some fun with it. It's about this gamer named Akira Shuragane who one day got attacked by a hulking weirdo and then got involved in a game where he and many others get special powers and need to battle each other out. Yeah, the premise is simple, but this is a survival game series. They're usually about the journey. How these things play out, so let's see how Battle in 5 Seconds does there. As we can already see, the first fight shows how Akira deals with a desperate situation by seeing it as a game and using strategy, which in this case means bringing the fight to a building he was familiar with and laying traps. Although it turned out the hulking weirdo also had the ability to boost his jumping power, Akira thought around it by finding a way to hit him in midair, causing him to fall into a pit. It's a nice fight to start with and clearly already belonging to the genre of mind game battle shonen like Jojo or Law of Awaki. My one problem with it would be how it seemed to come out of nowhere. Even though we did get a few pages showing Akira's life as a gamer, still pretty sudden. But the antagonist is formidable and looks intimidating enough. And from then on, strategies continue to be prevalent in future fights. A few of Akira's and even antagonists apply tactics. The fight between Kurosaki and Psycho in particular was pretty cool. Another great thing about this series, even though Akira is the main character, he's not the only one getting spotlight. The cast isn't the most varied, but you have fairly distinct characters from the quite big guy to the Sundere girl. There are enough different characters for you to root for, and boy do they each get their own time to shine. I think Akira is already a decent main character, but it's just nice to have a sense that other characters matter too. A certain other survival game series this season can learn from it that's getting an anime. You know, not constantly shoving the most boring possible everyday guy down our throats at every point as if we're supposed to like boringness. I'll actually do a review of Darwin's game soon, look forward to it. Anyway, it's not just that, Battle in 5 Seconds gives us quite a bit of time to explore the characters and how they feel. Multiple characters get backstories with different themes. I can totally understand how it sucks for Yuri to deal with such improbable bad luck. There's clearly a cosmic force up there bending the universe and is being a dick. I know that firsthand. Even an antagonist got a backstory about being a loser and wanting to improve himself to be like a hero. And then when he came out, came into this game, he treats it like he's been isekai and given a second chance. And I just realized maybe the author was poking fun at isekai with that. And that's actually pretty neat. And the guy even got himself a harem. Anyways, yeah, we get to know the characters a lot, even with something small like how Akira likes sweets. It's hard to decide who's my main, who's my favorite character right now. I guess maybe Mion. She was pretty fun, has some interest in Akira, and has a very nice. Uh, well, um, uh, never mind. Uh, too bad she's more of a mancha though, so. We don't get to see her compete. Oh well. Another thing that makes this, um, the fights more interesting are the unique powers of each of the characters. Shonen manga already tends to give different characters different abilities, making each matchup interesting. But the one that makes Battle in 5 Seconds really stand out is Akira's ability. Being whatever his opponent ability, um, being whatever his opponent believes his ability is. I have no idea how this will turn out later down the line, but so far it's really intriguing to learn about this ability with Akira. He's potentially omnipotent, but there are a lot of obstacles and vague factors which Akira is aware of. For example, getting this other person 
to believe what his ability is. The first fight, Akira had to use psychological urgency to get Kurosaki to believe his ability is to turn his hand into a cannon. Then even then on, there are still a lot of questions about his ability, such as what this other person means, is it just his opponent or anyone in the area. Akira needed to use his next fight to experiment. It would be cool to see how Akira can make an illusion of him using some ability at some point like a magician to get his opponent to believe he has that power which gives him that power. If I was him, I'd probably make a situation where I can make dialogue with someone to make it look like I have them unwillingly answer, looking a lot like mind control. Then I can make use of my new mind control power to make me to make people think I'm omnipotent and win everything. Lol. And it just feels like it should be easy for this ability to be broken. Let's see how he, the author handles it. So far, I've mostly pointed out the strengths of this series and minor flaws so far, but I think another problem I have with this series was that. Some of the fan service involving Yuri were pretty tasteless. Unwanted panty shots and stuff. Yeah, I wish this manga didn't conform to that standard. Hopefully not so much in the future. I want to like this series since there are many good things about it. Also, much like other series in the survival game genre, there are quite a bit of exposition on the rules. It's an obligatory routine for those familiar with the genre, although I think the dialogue was done well and not too much of a drag. Since we're still just at the beginning, I'd say so far it's just, um, it's still just decent, but I can see it becoming a really wild ride somewhere down the road. I'm definitely reading more and I hope you enjoyed too and maybe found my video helpful. Or perhaps, have you read it already? What are your thoughts? Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to uh, like and subscribe button. I've been doing quite a few first impressions of manga and other stuff like anime. So if you're into those, I hope you enjoy and maybe find more stuff you like. And with that, I wish you Happy New Year.